Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve the system of equations by using the matrix method. Let's first convert this system of equations into matrix form. We need coefficient matrix for the unknown x. We have 1, 0, and 3. So, right here, 1, 0, 3. For the unknown y, we have minus 1, 2, minus 2. For z, we have 2, minus 3, 4. And for the unknown matrix, we have x, y, and z. Next is to write equal to the constant that we have on the right, which is 1, 1, and 2. I'm going to let a be the coefficient matrix, namely 1, 0, 3, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 2, minus 3, 4. And we should first determine the transpose. So the transpose of A is equal to column change to row, row change to column. So column 103, we should write as row 103. Second column, second row, minus 1, 2, minus 2. Third column, third row, 2, minus 3, 4. And next is to determine the enjoy. To determine the enjoy by using the transpose, we should first obtain the core factor for each entry. To obtain the core factor for the first entry, we should cut the corresponding row as well as the column. So which means that we remove the first row and the first column. And now we left 2 minus 2 minus 3 4. For the second entry, Remove the respective row as well as their respective column. So we left minus 1, minus 2, 2, 4. For the third entry, also remove and remove. So we left minus 1, 2, 2, minus 3. For the first entry of the second row, also remove and remove. So we left 0, 3, minus 3, 4. Let's repeat exactly the same step for the rest of the entries. A very important step is to insert the plus minus sign alternately. So we should have plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. And this is equal to, recall that the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, let's say A, B, C, D, is equal to a times D minus B times C, which means that for the first entry, we have A times D, which is 2 times 4 equal to 8. And we minus B times C, which is minus 2 times minus 3. So negative, negative, positive. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So negative, positive is negative. And now we have 8 minus 6, which is equal to 2. For the second entry, we have Minus 1 times 4, negative 4. Minus 2 times 2, minus 4. But what we need is to AD minus BC. So minus minus become plus. Minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Next, we have minus 1 times minus 3. Negative, negative, positive. So we have positive 3. And we minus B times C. 2 times 2 is 4, so this is equal to negative 1. Next, we have 0 times 4, which is equal to 0. 3 times minus 3, minus 9. AD minus BC, so minus minus become plus, so this is equal to 9. But what we need here is to negative the number, so which means that positive 9, we should change to negative 9 since we have a negative here. Next, we have 4 minus 6, which is minus 2, minus 3, minus 0, minus 3, times negative becomes positive. Next, we have 0 minus 6, minus 6. Next, we have minus 2, minus, minus, so become plus. Minus 2 plus 3 is positive 1. However, we have negative here, so it becomes minus 1. Next, we have 1 times 2, 2 minus 0, which is 
2. Next, let's obtain the determinant of the matrix A. To obtain the determinant, we need the entries in the first row of the transpose matrix as well as the entries in the first row of the enjoy matrix. And we should apply multiplication for the corresponding position. So which means that for the first position 1, we should multiply with the first position of the second matrix, so times 2. Second with second, so we have the row times the row and third times third so which means that we have three times negative one and we should add up and this is equal to one times two is two plus zero three times minus one is minus minus plus minus so we have minus three and this is equal to negative one and now we are able to obtain the inverse matrix inverse is equal to one over determinant times enjoy so which means that we have equal to one over negative one times the enjoy matrix two minus nine minus six 0, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, 3, 2. And this is equal to 1 over minus 1 is negative 1. In other words, we just have to turn the negative sign of this matrix. So we should have minus 2, 9, 6, 0, 2, 1, 1, minus 3, minus 2. With the inverse matrix, we can now solve for the unknowns x, y, and z. And this is equal to the inverse times the constant 1, 1, 2. So which means that this is equal to minus 2, 9, 6, 0, 2, 1, 1, minus 3, minus 2. And with times 1, 1, 2. Recall that when we apply matrix multiplication, always take the row of the first matrix times the column of the second matrix. The position is very important. Since x is placed on the first row, so we have first row times the column. Recall that when we apply matrix multiplication, we should times the corresponding position. So which means that first entry times first entry, second entry times second entry, third entry times the third entry. So which means that we should have minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2. And what we have to do next is to add up. So we have minus 2 plus 0 plus 2, which is equal to 0. In other words, x is equal to 0. For the unknown y, which is the second row, so we should take 9 times 1 is 9, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Also, we should add up. And this is equal to 5. So we write it here. 5. And lastly for z, which is the last row, so we should have 6 times 1 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, minus 2 times 2, which is minus 4. And we should also add up. And this is equal to 3. So we write it here, 3. And we can now conclude that x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5, while z is equal to 3. And hence, we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.